would have thought he'd choose me to be saved, a sinner like me. And who would have thought that I could obtain life eternally? I never thought that I would be the act on whom his mercy was shown. And who would believe he want to call me his own? Lord, I love you so much for your mercy and grace. I just can't describe the thankfulness I feel in knowing you know words could adequately define how I want to say thank you for saving this soul of mine. A soul, how can I express my emotion? I don't think you what can I say? Or is they just get in the way? Hey guys, it's been a long, long, long time. I haven't made a video in I don't know when and I can't even begin to take it back and see when was the last time I made a video. But I know today is Tuesday and I'm 30 weeks. And I turn a week every Monday now. I noticed that I don't turn every Sundays. I guess because of February or leap year or weeks got shorter or something. But on my pregnancy app on my phone, I turn a week every Mondays and it was every Sunday. And when I went to the doctor, I'm thinking I'm a certain week and days and she said I was a certain week and like a day behind. So anyway, I'm out of breath. I miss you guys. I have just been lazy. There is no excuse why I have not made a video other than plain tiredness, laziness, sleepy. Oh my gosh. But um you guys leave kind you, you guys leave kind words and encouraging comments and I feel so bad. I still get on YouTube and watch y'all videos. <laughs> But I don't feel like sitting here recording my uploading it. And um yeah. But I do have a pregnancy outfit of the day coming. I had my first baby shower. My church threw me a baby shower. I'm so forever grateful. Everybody was really, really nice, sincere. They bought a lot of love gifts. And I couldn't be more pleased. Um, so I have a baby shower uh, video to do and some footage of the baby shower or just footage of me opening the gifts because my friend was recording and she really didn't get much of anything but just me so but let's just get right into it um my symptoms I've been so tired I wrote some things down but just sleepy 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 I know on Sunday I went to church came home took a nap me and my husband went to the movies. I fell asleep in the movies. We got out of the movies. I went to bed early. Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. I can go to bed every day at 8 o'clock. I mean, um, because I'm married, because me and my husband are best friends and we watch TV together, we eat dinner together, we talk about our day, I feel really bad leaving him by himself without his best friend. But if it wasn't for him, I would be in the bed at 8 o'clock. But I try to make it work. Um, I'm sleepy at work. I haven't taken naps on my lunch break as often because I have a lot of work to do. But um, I wanted to start getting up early, earlier in the morning to start reading my Bible and praying. Just to get in the mind frame, just to, you know, get there. And, and I set my alarm clock to wake me up 30 minutes earlier and I snooze. And I feel disappointed and guilty and terrible every morning. But I haven't done it yet. And I decided to do that about five days ago. And I, maybe a week ago. And I am so sleepy in the morning. It's just ridiculous. So I've decided to change. Instead of trying to do it in the morning, just do it around lunchtime or at night. We're going to work on that. Too sleepy. Um, 
I went to the doctor. I don't think I got back on camera to let you guys know that my glucose or gas diabetes, I don't even know that word, but the diabetes testing, when you have to go drink that drink, came back great. That test came, I, I passed that test with flying colors. I don't have any problems with my blood pressure, thank God. I don't have any problems with diabetes um, and any complications like that. And I feel sorry for the ladies who do because I have a close friend of mine who had two pregnancies where she got the preeclampsia or the high blood pressure. And it's just a real, really horrible thing to go through when you're trying to focus on your pregnancy and your baby and eating right and that stuff and you have complications. So I thank God that I don't have any complications, but I walked in and my doctor said, you know, you passed that test, but your iron dropped. So you're like borderline anemic. I think when I first did the iron test, I was a level 12. I don't know what that means, but it was okay. And then I dropped to 11, I think. I'm not sure, but it's just like right there. And before she told me that, a week before that, I was eating ice at my desk like crazy. I mean, I used to sit next to this lady who ate ice every day, a cup full of ice. She only wanted a certain type of ice. And I just thought, you know, that's really, really, you know, that's something serious you got going on. But that ice tastes so good. I, that ice, it tastes so good. I don't know if it was the fact that I'm always hot now, another symptom that I'm having and the ice cool me down or that I'm really thirsty, another symptom that I'm having. And it's just like cold, refreshing water or just the taste of it, but I like ice. So when the doctor told me that I'm low on iron, I need to get an iron supplement, the ice, it kind of went together. Now I knew why I was eating ice and light ice. I haven't, still haven't gotten an iron supplement and that's another reason why I'm so, so sleepy. Um, but I need to get, do that ASAP. So my iron did drop, baby. But what I'm doing now is take my vitamins every day. And I'm taking two tums a day, extra strength, with 750 milligrams worth of calcium. Not because I have heartburn or anything. And I pray that baby Bishop has a head full of hair because I don't have heartburn. But I do take the Tums as like extra calcium because on my app, on my phone, it says that his bones are hardening and he really needs lots of calcium. And I have braces. I don't have the best teeth, not the whitest teeth, but they're pretty white. They're pretty straight. And I don't want him to start taking from my bones and from my teeth. So I'm giving him calcium every day. But I need to get that iron supplement. Um, also, I'm noticing finally... My nails, they look better. Um, I, I don't know if you guys can see. Um, my hair, I have them in little twists. And I know this is not my hair channel, but I cut like at least a good inch and a half. Maybe even two inches of my hair. Because I have split ends. I had split ends like crazy and it was driving me crazy. And instead of relaxing and sleeping on it and waiting until... You know, I wasn't so anxious to cut my hair. I was frustrated looking at every single strand with a split end, and I just went to cutting. But I did notice my hair is getting thicker and longer, but now it's two inches shorter. Um, so I don't know if I'll be doing that pregnancy limb check. I'll still do it for you, but yeah. So, um, April the 10th, me and my husband went to Winn-Dixie. We went grocery shopping, and the first time ever... A young girl stopped me and said, hey, when are you expecting your baby? And I was like, oh, they can tell I'm pregnant now. I definitely have a real stomach that says hello. And sometimes I waddle. I'm not even that big and I waddle. So it was really exciting for someone to notice that I'm pregnant. I enjoyed that. Um, yeah. Oh, Baby Bishop's punches, his kicks and everything, just the way he moves is much harder. I can tell he's bigger. My app said he should be about three pounds, and I am gaining weight like I'm supposed to. I know we're supposed to gain about a pound a week in this third trimester. Last week, I gained two pounds a week. And yes, I go to the doctor every two weeks now. So my next appointment is... 
Friday the 4th of May, and my five-year anniversary is May the 5th, and we're going to do Baby Bishop's Nursery on May the 7th. Me and my husband's going to stay home all day, carpet clean, put up curtains, put up wall decor, uh, put up the crib, put up all the stuff that we got from the baby shower, and it's going to be more to come. And yeah, he's getting much bigger, and I'm gaining weight. I think I weigh 154 pounds now. Started this pregnancy at 133, my normal weight, which is too heavy. Went down to 127, now I'm 154. Um, and I think that's all that's on my list. I know this video went really fast, but I'm gonna show you guys my belly. Oh, I did wanna show you guys, I'm starting to use Stretch Mark Cream now by Palmer's Cocoa Butter. I don't have any stretch marks that are new from pregnancy, but um, I'm gonna use this anyway now. I use it every night. This is for to concentrate on tummy, hips, and thighs, and your bust area. This is the all over body lotion. And this is like itchy skin, dry skin, soothing oil to spray on your body. So, I'm using this every night after the, out, out of the shower. I'm gonna use it after I have the baby. I'm using it now. So hopefully I have beautiful skin because as you guys know, everyone at that baby shower told me my nose has gotten huge, which it has. It really has. And of course, my skin uh, it's much darker. I don't know if you can see without me exposing everything, but my back is dark and My skin around my breast area is just really dark But here's the belly. My belly's not that dark And I oil up every day every night 30 weeks prego here. You can definitely tell. And he, oh, me and my husband, we read to him every night. And if he can't read, I'll still read. But I'm absolutely loving this little guy in here. And that's all. Stay tuned for the pregnancy outfit of the day and the baby shower thingy.